Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the best friend right here from the mom. So check this out. We are gonna start with the sum first. The sum is going to be this. We will have s, right? We just call the sum to be s. This right here is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x plus third power plus dot dot dot. Remember, for the best friend, we will have to just go on forever. But for the mom, we actually will be just adding up to x to the nth power. So this is the mom's version, right? And our goal is to figure out a formula for s. Notice that each and every time, we just multiply by x to get to the next term. So this is the finite version of the geometric series. All right, anyway, we'll pretty much do the similar thing like the best friend uh, video. So we will just multiply both sides by x. So on the left hand side, I get x, s. And this is equal to, well, when I multiply 1 by x, I get x. So I will just put down the x right here and will line up. Next, I will multiply this x by x. So I get x squared. I will line up right here. And then when I multiply x with x squared, I get x to the third power. So I will just put down plus x to the third power and so on, so on, so on. Well, well, right here, we end up with x to the nth power. I will multiply that by x to the first power. So in fact, I will get x to the n plus 1 power. So I will actually put that right here. This is going to be x to the n plus 1 power. All right. And in fact, if you would like, you can look at its previous term. This is x to the n minus 1 power. Multiply by x, you will get the x to the nth power right here. All right, so this is good, and now we can make it even better. I will just be subtracting the first equation and the second equation like this, and you see that on the left hand side, we have s minus xs. So let me just put that down s minus xs. And this is equal to, well, 1 minus nothing. There's no 1 here, so it's just going to be 1. Next, I see that x minus x, well, they cancel out, right? This and that cancel. And you see that x squared minus x squared cancel. And similarly, this and that will cancel. Everything right here and those things will be canceling out as well. Likewise, x to the nth power minus x to the nth power, they will also cancel. In the end, don't forget we have pretty much a zero right here minus this. So we end up with minus x to the n plus 1 power, like that. Now on the left hand side, both terms have s, so I can factor the s out. So I get s times 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus x to the m plus 1 power. Of course, we can now just divide this on both sides. Ha! Huh. You see that s is equal to 1 minus x to the m plus 1 power over that right here. So we're pretty much done. And what we're saying is that don't forget s is equal to all that. So I will tell you guys. We pretty much have 1 plus x plus x squared plus dot 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 up to x to the nth power. Remember, this right here, we stop at x to the nth power. When you do that, you end up with this, namely 1 minus x to the n plus 1 or over 1 minus x. And just a small remark, sometimes the first term may be some number and we can call that to be a and then the next term is a times x, and then the next term is a times x to the second power, and so on. Well, in that situation, we are pretty much just multiplying both sides by a, right? So um, it doesn't have to start at 1. Just maybe factor out the common factor, and then pay attention to this part, and then you can just end up with that. This right here, it's pretty much a mom, but how can we go from the mom to the best friend, right? Well, well. From here, this is only finite, so I will have to say let n go to infinity. In that case, on the left hand side, we'll pretty much have just a dot dot dot. So in another word, we have 1 plus x plus x squared plus dot dot dot. Keep on going forever. So this will be the following. Well, if you have n goes to infinity, put it n right here, x to the infinity plus 1 is like x to the infinity power. This only makes sense if the absolute value of x is less than 1. So when you take the limit right here, you also have to make sure we need, I'll just put on we need, the absolute value of x 
to be less than 1 so that this part will be approaching 0. And we will end up this on the left hand side equal to 1 minus 0 and then over 1 minus x. Of course, this is nothing but just 1 over 1 minus x like this. Of course, this right here is the best friend. Why do I say this is the best friend? Because you will see a lot of the power series, they are all based on the best friend. So be sure you guys watch my other videos so you can also see how to figure out the power series for natural log, or the inverse tangent, and other things. Anyway, hopefully you guys all like this video. If you do, please give me a like and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more math-related content. And thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, that's it, isn't it?